Do you need to be mindful of asking a waiter where the bathroom is? If questions like this have crossed your mind, then you're in good company. Today we'll be taking a closer look at some of the nuances of everyday interactions that make up the monotony of life. Let's go to the toilet, look in the bowl and say, that's weird, I thought I'd drunk a little bit more water today. <laughs> Grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of friendship. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. Now, I'm not sure if you boys know, but tomorrow is a very special day. It's my birthday. Muzzle top, Christian. Thank you very much. Now, before we get started, what I wanted to raise with you both was how you felt about receiving early birthday messages. The reason I raise this is because I received a message today, the day before, at 10 past nine. Now, I've received a few messages today Mm. saying, hey, happy birthday for tomorrow. But the, for tomorrow. But the first message I received... I'm guessing it's a family member, by the way. I reckon it's like... Has an, to be. I reckon it's, it's got to be an auntie. Yeah. Let's see what it's got to be. An older, it's got to be an older member of the family. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Here you go. With, at 10 past nine. With best wishes for a very happy birthday tomorrow from all at the Smile team. <laughs> My oh, dentist. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they got it right. wrong. No, no, no. They got it right. It's tomorrow. They were oh, the they said first. Tomorrow, of course, yeah. They were the first to celebrate my birthday. And that automated message is about it's for tomorrow. Yeah. That's weird. But, but, why but, wouldn't they send it on the day? What What are the options? What, 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 I why, would just send it on the day. But, but no, but why would they? They're, they're, I've never heard of that. Why are they sending it up to? Business. Why are they scheduling it a day before? It's. I think that is the weirdest part of it. Yeah. I, I, I get a business. They want in first. Message. Hang on, hang on, hang they on. They want in first. Hang do. on. Your birthday falls on a public holiday. Maybe their text messages don't send on public holidays. That would be <laughs> supreme logic. Do you reckon it's that? Definitely not. No. But what's the better logic? That, that Why is the, wouldn't I, they? That's the best so we've got. Are you saying <laughs> that on public holidays, texts are more expensive? No, I'm saying- I Penalty don't know. rates for text messages. <laughs> 25 cents plus loading. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but that but you don't have a better reason than no, that. No, he has a better reason. What's the better reason? They, they're said. getting in first. They want to be the first. They want to be the first person. You're your best friend. Yeah. But how do you how do you feel about that? I got like this this accountant that I never see wishes me seasons greetings every year. Uh, last year I was like, can you please? Un- oh no. Yeah, unsubscribe. I think it was like, can you please unsubscribe me? Great just idea. A, just an automated thing. Just I, leave me alone. See, I get what you're doing. I understand seasons greetings. I mean, but, I understand it as well. Yeah, but from from a, a a service that you use, it's weird, isn't it? It is. It is weird because it's pretending like you're friends. Yeah, and it's like yeah. if you do a good job throughout the year, yeah. I'll come back to you. You know, you wishing me Merry Christmas, not going to get me. Won't do line. anything. You know, no. what kind of would be nice if your specific dentist at that place. <laughs> Did Gave the you personal a- message. Oh, yeah. Like, How would hey, you feel about that? I'm, or your physio or yeah. whatever. He goes, hey, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. That's nice. But it's still going to be automated because they're not doing... They would be doing that yeah. 365 days a year. But they could do that in a nice... A, like, it, it could appear like it's personal. They could still write that message. Hey, Christian, your dentist, whoever here, wish yeah. you all the best. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know they could be- do that. Why do they do that? Why do they want it coming from a company the day before? You know what yeah. would be better? Is the next time you read there, he goes, oh, Christian, I just wanted to say six months ago, happy birthday, mate. <laughs> like, just yeah. know that I only see you two or three times a year. That's great. So, but oh, what do what you- What a great idea. Yeah. That for like car services and dental services, you have a second birthday throughout the year. Yeah. What a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Um, what do you think generally, though, about getting the early birthday message? I've had a couple, like I said, a couple people it's- today saying, hey, just wanted to say happy birthday for tomorrow. I-, I don't quite get it because I think it, to me, all it screams of is a fear of them forgetting tomorrow. Sure. And what's wrong with that? That then then they that, then they've missed it. But they rather they rather definitely the get sentiment in early. is the same. It's true. They're usher, they're actually ushering it in quite nicely. Because what's the day before your birthday usually like? Is there anything that relatively interesting? quite a bit of anticipation, bit. excitement? I reckon smile is contributing to it. <laughs> they did. They kicked off the celebration for me. Oh. I think it's entirely a fear <laughs> of forgetting. Because yeah. they're like, oh, it's in my head now. I've got a busy day tomorrow. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna send it now. I don't so, have to worry about so it. So what's yeah. better? Getting it off your head and knowing that that person for that person it's not better for you. I don't. Why think. not? Oh, uh, maybe maybe it is right. Maybe I, it does I to feel build it up exactly the same about the people that messaged me. If the smile team had messaged me tomorrow, I'd feel exactly. I would feel weirder about it. Yeah. If they did, do, do you like the, Do you like the smile team? They're lovely dentists. Yeah. They're nice. They're dentists. fantastic. Okay, yeah. Okay. In Doncaster, if anyone would like to, Brad and Julie, 
fantastic. <laughs> smile really is the that, that's what you want your company to be. You're doing you're doing braces, you're doing anything. It's smile. Oh yeah, is and that, I smile can, out the door. But you can't have anything. You can't have you wouldn't call it teeth. <laughs> or, or grimace Or lips Oh yeah, it's going to be something like that Grimace is lips. good Grimace with a little hamburglar um, Dion, <laughs> how do you feel about the birthday message before? Never had it Never had it Never had it Who has it? The smile team's the only They, they are leading it They're, They're leading, leading the I mean, you have like You have Boxing Day sales that start, you know, in July Yeah, <laughs> it's that It's that it's kind exactly of thing that. But it's Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's the, There's a place for it When it comes from a company I think it's nice when Subway offers you Like a free cookie on your birthday mm-hmm. And wishes you happy birthday That's like, okay, happy birthday plus a free cookie But with Great. but with the free cookie I want to get that message a week before Saying, hey, here's a free cookie ah, Coming up on your birthday When you're, when yeah, you're yeah. in this Not week Not on the day itself Yeah, you want it to be in this week But it's in their interest to send it on the day itself I think, I think you're actually right You've convinced <laughs> me that I would rather because the lead up to the birthday, yes. you can get excited and get jazzed. But as mm. soon as that hits, it's done. That day is over, it's done. It the, was, the well wishes, the excitement, it mm. finishes on that day. It must cost Subway a bit of money. Send out a cookie every birthday. Don't send do they out do a that? Think, hang on, hang on. Think about it for a second. <laughs> they don't send out a hang cookie. On, hang on, hang on. Wait a second, Josh. Make it available. Uh, they do. Make it available. Okay. <laughs> Eight billion people in the world. Yeah, sure. Um, Every single person. One billion signed up to Subway's thing. And then a quarter of that, that's costing... That is actually... That's destroying the whole of Subway. Wait a second. (laughs) What Subway have done is they've said, we are going to send a cookie to every single person on Earth. So, they need to find every single person on Earth's name and birthday. Yeah. And dentist. And dentist. (laughs) It's a lot of work. It's going to cost a lot. It's another podcast. <laughs> it is. Uh, anyway, we might move on now. Christian. Josh, are you sure you don't want to talk? <laughs> <laughs> the logistics? What about the shipping? What about doctor's associates <laughs> that own Subway? Isn't that amazing? Uh, anyway, though, Christian, we were out at, the, at a, a restaurant the other day, weren't we? Oh, yes, that's right, Josh, we were. Um, uh, one of the things that, that, um, that really kind of triggered me was I hated the fact that I asked you, I believe, Josh. I went up to the toilets. You went off to the toilets. And I came back. You came back. And I said, hey, Josh, because I needed to go to the toilet, Dion. Mm. And I I said- I was there. (laughs) It was the Patchwork Christmas party. And I said to Josh, hey, where are the toilets? I hate that I asked you that. I didn't care at all. Why Why did you hate that you asked Josh that? Because Josh found his way. Yeah. So why am I? Why do I think it's going to be that tough? Well, because because sometimes for me to find my own way. Sometimes it's incredibly tough well, finding the toilet. No, but I. What I. What happened to me is I had a cursory glance. I was like, okay, I need to go. I have a look over. I saw the little icon yeah. above the thing yep. by the kitchen. I was like, okay. And then as I was walking there, I kind of what you're getting at in my head. I saw a staff member. I was like, oh, maybe I'll ask them. I go, no. It'll be fine. Is, You'll mm, find them. Uh, isn't there a disproportionate amount of anxiety there when is. you're looking uh, for the toilets you, at a restaurant? You know what it is? Because when you when you go to someone's to if you go to someone's place and you want to find the toilet, it's usually it's just the door on the left. <laughs> just the second door on oh, the left. I don't know. The toilet in a house is a lot more difficult yeah. than a restaurant. Really? Oh, the door on the left. Excuse you've got doors me. everywhere. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you've got doors everywhere. You've got toilets. It's doors galore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. What Think of let's brainstorm the different toilets in a in a in a restaurant. I'll go first. The Chinese restaurant where you have to walk up a, a, a slim bit of stairs. It's right up the top. Well, there you the, go. Yeah. You just you just directed yourself there. Yeah, but but after half an hour, I'm <laughs> looking at the back near <laughs> the chef. But with a I was pissed with, next to the chef. <laughs> you expect to me. Are you saying that at a house <laughs> you will make the decision yourself? Let's say you're going over to a friend's house for the first time. You're just gonna go. I've got this. No, but why do it at a restaurant? Because they expect people to do that and they have signs Yeah, they have signs. But sometimes they don't. Well, the signage isn't that good sometimes. But but that's the whole point. It's an adventure at the restaurant. You need to find it yourself. But you don't because you asked Josh. That's And I yeah, didn't and like he hated that. It. He oh, hated you that. want an adventure. He was self-loathing in that moment. Yeah. What, what is, for you, what's the... What's the ideal toilet placement in a restaurant? They they had it right. They had a sign up, mm. which was in clear vision for the entire restaurant that had toilets with the arrow. And it was like by the kitchen. Because yeah, normally you're like, yeah. well, is that just for staff or is that where everyone goes? And most of the time, it's down that way. Well, yeah. what, what do you think of a staff toilet? A staff toilet yeah. separate. Is that, is, that, is that needed? Do we need uh, that? No, nah, you don't need that. Don't need it, do you? No, you what, don't separate need that. What, separate staff toilet? No. I don't... I remember at, when I worked at the big Italian function centre when I was um, in my young 20s, we used to pee standing next to the old members 
who would pee with us. Yep, good choice and, of word. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and that was uncomfortable because I'd then be They'd behind the, the path. Oh, because they might say, where's my order? <laughs> No, but I just don't want Jump that. I, want, I don't want them to think that they're on the same level as me for the night. I think that's fair. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, how do you feel? You, you you did some bar work. Would you be happy just going to the patron's toilet? Because you said no to stuff toilets, but I feel like now you're going to say, yeah. It, of course, you, you, you said toilets are toilets are toilets. Nah, <laughs> I just well, think. Fine. It's, it's like, it's like don't need the actors the mingling with the audience before oh. the show. Yeah, yeah. You don't do that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and, not, and definitely not during the show as well. <laughs> But it ruins the illusion, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's part of it. But it's but also, Christian, you were annoyed. Wait, wait what were you annoyed about that I asked? Oh, uh, no, I loved the fact that fo- following that question, <laughs> yeah. you asked, Josh, what was the toilet like? What's now, that that's question? the question that I should have asked. Great. What do you think the question was? I, I think, I don't know what I could answer that prevents you from going to that toilet. Because to me... Oh, I wouldn't have been prevented. Wh- it's more the anticipation. Th- you want to add... Anti- but it's, it's just a toilet. No, no, no. I want like, to take if it's a shit. Abs- if it's a wreck... Yeah. Like, you're still going to use it because it's no, the toilet in the no, restaurant. No, I'm anticipating. I want to I want to take a shit and I'm anticipating what's this experience going to be like. Is it going to be a nice... Yeah, dirty- actually. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to know in advance because you prepare no, yourself. It's not. For me, if someone comes out... Yeah, you... Shut up, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> For me, if someone comes out and goes, ah, oh, the Big soap grotty. in there is beautiful. Oh, yeah, that, that's I it. know that I'm going to go use the soap. Okay. Uh, but yeah. if someone comes out and goes, oh, the uh, the hand dryers suck. My hands are still wet. I'm not even going to try them. Yeah. yeah, I think I might offer that on my return, but I would never ask someone else. It's I would never weird... be that interested <laughs> in the toilets. <laughs> hang, on, hang on, hang on. What about how's the food? Yeah. What about if it's a really Ooh. high quality restaurant? Like it's a beautiful restaurant. Oh, I, yes. I always go. Are the toilets nice? Ooh. Just, what, that, what did I ask? Just slightly different. Wait, what did I ask? You're putting a positive spin on it. What are the toilets like? What? That mine wasn't negative. No, I'm saying, but I put a more positive. Oh, spin I see. Oh, and that's nice. why Josh is right. Are the toilets, <laughs> toilets commensurate with our surroundings here? Is it beautiful? Is it gorgeous? Yeah, that's how you'd word it. No. Are the toilets commensurate with our surroundings? <laughs> But isn't aren't when you're at a fine dining restaurant, she's walking into the toilets real nice. Oh yeah, oh, real nice. I've heard, I've heard they're good. <laughs> yeah, but but it's always a new experience. Like, what are they going to do to prove t- so that the, the toilets are commensurate with the price I'm paying for this food? The stuff, whatever you get put on your hands, got to smell lovely. I'll tell you what. Got to yeah, smell great. Yeah. Do you care? Uh, Wait, I so don't you, care. So you, no, you don't care because you don't care what the food's like. So I'm not expecting you to care what the fucking soap's <laughs> like. <laughs> Um, just to go back, I was mentioning how I was close to um, asking the staff where they were. Mm. I feel generally in my life, asking staff is a bit of a thing that I'm right. resistant and reluctant to do. Wow. And I'm getting better at just being like, just ask. Yes. Like, so often I'm at mm. Kmart or something mm. or at some, you know, supermarket or whatever. Yes. And for some reason, I'm like, you can find it yourself, mate. I don't yes. know if it's like a pride it thing. It is pride. You reckon what it's it pride? What, what were your, did your folks ask for directions I easily? Because I don't know. dad was always all over that. He loved it. Ask asking your staff. Ask your right, right question. question. <laughs> where's, the, where's the beautiful yeah, toilet? Well, how about you, Dean, and your general life? I've got no, and stuff? I've got no problem. I think that I don't think attendants care about being asked as long as you're nice about it. But no, I've got no problem. I'll walk into, if I'm going to Kmart and I need a thing, I'll just walk straight up to the person and go, hey, where's this thing? Yeah, so I always wow. try to have a look first. Is there merit in look- up. Is there merit in looking first? Is it better for you? I don't know. Why. Does I, it result in a longer life? Yeah, I think. Well, maybe the next time you'll go. Oh, I remember when I asked about Gaviscon. It was with the rest of the medication. What's Gaviscon? It's That's different. A, it's for indigestion. <laughs> Isn't that the cricketer? Some people Gaviscon. <laughs> <laughs> you'll know what Gaviscon is soon, Dion. Oh, it really? happens to all of us. Oh, no. <laughs> How about you, Christian? Are you quick to ask a question? Or not you- really. I like the adventure of finding it. Yeah, right. And then the disappointment of not finding it. And then, I, I, to be honest, I almost won't. I'll go to my phone first just to make sure. I'll be like, does Coles even stock this? Well, you know what oh, I had? I, I do that as well yeah. I do that on the weekend. I, it was this moment and I got deeper and deeper into this hole. And I'm like, well, I have to stick with this for so long now. I was looking for fantails. Mm. Where? At the supermarket. Okay. So, I went to the chocolate aisle. It's like a little chocolate wrapped up treat for those who don't know fantails. And there was a stocker in the aisle nearby. But I was like... 
It's just fantails. I'll be able to find it. Yes. With the other chockers off. Great. And I'm scanning, scan. I'm like, am I getting this really wrong? Yeah. 100% it should be here. Yep. And because the guy was there, I didn't go to him straight away. Yes. I was like, if I go to him and he points two oh, feet no. away, goes right there, I'll hate that. I kept looking, kept looking, and I did it. And then eventually I asked him, and then he was looking same as me. He's like, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Had to look up his thing, and it was a bit further down at, on the bottom. And I was like, thank God. Oh, yes. And it was like, yeah. I should have just asked him at the start. Why but, do I waste the time? But that's such a nice experience that you had that moment together. No, where, where even the professional was like, you know what? I'm stumped. And that was the best part of it. Yeah. I I feel, he couldn't find it but either. I feel like a stalker would hate it because their main job is to stock. Whereas that person at the door at Kmart, their main job is to check items for security really badly. Uh, <laughs> like yeah. that, 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 I know we might have talked about it before. Job. When you're going into a stadium and the security guard checks your bag, they, they could literally do it with their eyes closed and it'd be the same result. They're, they're not doing anything. They they're have just touching it and that's it. The what, person, why is that? The person at the it's front of Kmart has what? What's the maximum amount of time they could hold you up before you get annoyed? True. What, what is it? What do you think it is? Three seconds. Three seconds and nah, then you're but annoyed? Also, nah, but five. No, no, no. Five It'd seconds. Five, ten. I'm so happy with them. So, what can you do in five seconds? I reckon, I've thought about this. I reckon they're looking at the date on the invoice or the receipt. They're going, oh. is this receipt for today? Yeah. Cool. They must have made a purchase. Do they do invoice training or receipt training? Where they just, they get you to... They- Oh, wow. They get you to flash it up in front of your eyes for uh, two seconds. S- seven items, 400. <laughs> yeah, like flashcards, like for a kid or something, yeah. Um, yeah, but it's it, but that, that style of person, the one that asks, you know, oh, where are the toilets, Josh? Or someone asks immediately, oh, where, where do you find this? It reminds me of the type of person who says, oh, r- remind, oh can, you, can you remind me to pick that thing up later? Oh, can you remind me to take my washing out later? Yeah, no worries. Christian they, looks furious. It, it It is infuriating yeah. because they're giving you the mental load. That's it. So no, if they not. Do, wait yes. a second. Oh, Because what? if they forget, whose fault is it? Theirs. No. No. It beca- the moment- it's shared. It's part shared. No, 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 no. Why didn't you remind me? Because I don't care. Come on. <laughs> Let, let's all roll our eyes, Josh. So... My, I'm all on board with the remind me later. All about this on board thing. <laughs> for the remind me later about this thing because for me using that, it's yep. as much for myself to like. Oh, if I, I make sure I can't remember that. Let someone else know so if something triggers a memory, we'll both remember. I hate it. But at no point do I ever blame that person if I forget it. I hate it. What else will you do? What What other things? What do you mean? Going with your partner to the supermarket. I'm always like, hey, can you write? I'm always like, can you write this down? Can you write down? I need to remember to get this. I wouldn't be like, hey, remember to get bicarb soda. No, no, hang on. That's, that's, mess that's up, just mate. as bad. Can you, you write, write down? I'm, I'm, that I need I'm, to remember this. I'm driving. The, what, what? I'm driving oh, uh, and I have Siri. <laughs> but that's that's what I've resorted that's to. That's what I was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> to stop myself, I will set timers on my phone and that timer is supposed to be symbolic of a particular thing. Like an hour and 10 minutes and that is my laundry. Me too. Do you sometimes forget what that timer is set for? No. That's Do you? great. No, that's great. And I really want to use geolocation reminders. I don't know why I've never favorite. done it. Do you use them? Uh, I used to use it more. Could I don't be. use them less because it was best when you were out and there was something at home you had to do oh, or get. Take out or, the washing when you get home. Yeah, and oh. so it would go off, fire off when you get home. Those ones are really good. It's but I, I see no issue with the, the shared, and I don't think it's a shared responsibility. Mm. It's about having more minds on the task nah. that if, nah, it, get, if it comes up and floats so up So you're the saying surface, that it, like you say, hey, remind me to grab my key before we leave. Yeah. Right, and then both of us are in the car driving away and you go, oh, the key. Yeah. You look at me oh, damn, and I, I go, forgot. the key, yeah. Yeah. That's You're fine. saying that there is not a percent of you that goes, fuck, I didn't remember. Not at all. You're, not also at saying, all. you're also saying the system doesn't work. Whose system? Well, that system doesn't work. If you, Well, it's actually Christian's example. But you also, you love grouping. You love a convoy. You love doing things in pairs. You sure. Love, it's, it's, I love it. being yeah. joint at the hip. I like shared activities as well. <laughs> but in this instance, you, I feel like that is too much of a load to shift onto someone else. It's not a load. You're not like forcing this person to turn their entire attention. But you That's have to so understand what you're doing to the person. Because when they're, someone they're says just... to me, when <laughs> someone says to me, hey, uh, remind me about my key, in my head, I'm like, fuck You're me. taking it too literally That is then. going to be at the front of nah, my you're mind. you're taking yeah. it way too literally. It's cuter than that. <laughs>
<laughs> hang on, hang on. Hey, you, you, <laughs> you do your cute bit. What's the cute? What's the cute it, thing? No, it's just like oh, it's more saying this is a big thing I need to remember. It's not saying hey Dion, you directly need to remember. Hang this. on, that's a different thing. So are you yeah. saying are you are you saying it out loud so you're vocalizing it? Kind of, yeah. But how it's are like, you phrasing oh, it? Before we go, can you make sure you can you help me not forget? Or hang can on, you hang on. You said can you make I know, sure? Yeah, that I was like yeah. <laughs> but either way, I'm not blaming that person. Okay. How great does it feel when that person reminds oh, you? Oh, it's Beautiful. tremendous. Yes. That's it's, because they remembered. Yeah, it's huge. And, and that's because they have the load. That's right, Josh. You understand? They're good on them. The payoff is there. So when they forget, you hurt. Okay. <laughs> well, we, it, we might move on, I think. It cuts real deep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we'll move on now to Oh Wow of the Week. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The song Smooth by Santana and Rob Thomas is both the last number one hit of the 90s and the first of the 2000s. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Huge song. Huge yeah, song. Absolutely. I'm, huge just, song. I'm wrapping my head around the oh, wow. So it was number one at the end of the 90s and, and the, the s- first of the 2000s. That's pretty great. So it straddled. That was it. And doesn't that, but when you say I, that was the song, you go... That perfectly but, typifies the end of the 90s. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. But it's also, so also, that's not that big of, a, of an achievement, right? It it's just, just was at New Year's Eve, it tipped over and it was like, cool. But it's just such a good song. But also, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I hope when I'm looking on Spotify, it's in both decades <laughs> playlists. Because if it's not... I'll that's great. Me. Number one hits of the 90s, number one hits of the 2000s. That is the only song <laughs> that can fit in both of those categories. Um, Dion. Yes, oh, I you was just, went to the dentist. Yes, recently, I was just you? thinking that uh, the other day I went to the dentist, and um, I thought it had been a year, but it had only been six months. And I was a little bit early, and I thought, oh, I was going to be a bit early, and I thought, oh, I think I'll get some food before the dentist. But and then I decided to get a bagel, so I went to a deli, got a bagel, got a poppy seed bagel, Ooh, po- oh, mate. Dumb, you got right? a poppy seed bagel before but, the, the dentist. dentist. Before the dentist, Jesus. but but you know what I did? I was cheating death because I also. Brought my toothbrush. You're a little beauty. I bought the electric <laughs> toothbrush to the dentist. So I had this poppy seed bagel. I could have eaten every- anything. I could have had... You brought a whole electric toothbrush in your bag out for the day. Yeah. That's ab- weird. Absolutely. That's weird. Absolutely. Ha- Took it with me and then had the poppy seed bagel and then... Hang on. Question. Mm. Did you bring floss, toothpaste and a toothbrush? Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> no, just an electric toothbrush and toothpaste. But you chose a poppy seed bagel. And floss. Yeah, chose a poppy seat bagel because I knew I'd be brushing my teeth after. It was fine. Why? So, why? Because my feeling mm. of the dentist is you want to give them an accurate depiction of your oral hygiene. Great. And you're cheating on the test. Mm. A very interesting point. But I had to eat before and I didn't have anything at home. So, do you think that I should have ordered something normal to eat, not yeah. poppy seed? Yeah, And yeah. then go to the dentist without having brushed my teeth? Yeah. N- well, no. Why? I, That's not normal. I... They don't want to. They don't want to see that. They don't. But in a pinch, they'd understand that some people are probably coming during the lunch break or something. Yeah, that's a good point. I'd never thought of that. Just give a bit of. But a, isn't a that what the water, clean right? is for? Yeah, they're just cleaning it up, getting it ready they for. They also their do clean your. But teeth. they yeah. clean it at the end. They check for cavities and poppy seeds at the start. <laughs> I thought they cleaned anyway. I'm not going to into <laughs> the order of their proceedings. But I do think that if you are someone who's like, I got a brush like, 15 minutes before, mm. and you come in, they'll see. They'll be like. This guy doesn't brush that much because your gums are inflamed or yeah, whatever it is. Know anyway, right? They'll know. They see through yeah. those tricks. Well, that's the thing. They say, like I. It's the first time where I've decided in that six month period to floss a little bit, and I said it very proudly. And she was like, "Your teeth look better this time." And I mm. felt like saying, "Right, really? Do they? Do that's they?" Because I only learned how to floss probably six months ago. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. What were you? you just, how do you get it wrong? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, how do you do it right? You wrap it around your fingers and then slide it up and N- down. No. Na- no, no, no! You meant to, you meant to, oh, do it. like saw it between. Right? No, 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 well, not you, saw you it. You it. meant we, to we, bend it. You meant good, to like do a little bendy boy. Good, good shout yeah. out that we are currently <laughs> also on YouTube.com forward slash Welcome to Patchwork. I believe is the URL. Yes, anyway, you can right. check us out on YouTube. You can watch yeah. Dion bending the floss. <laughs> but for those, floss for those like listening to this as an audio <laughs> podcast, Dion, could you describe what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to take a bit of floss out of my little floss container. Yep. Five hundred meters. This one is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Last time like 60. Yeah. You're always, always enormous. You can get gift wrapping paper that's a metre and five, <laughs> yeah. 1.5 metres, but floss is 500 metres, half a kilometre of floss. Yeah, how do you measure out your 100 metre sprint? <laughs> <laughs> I get the Colgate 100 metre. 
And for this demonstration, I've got a little packet of poppy seeds and yeah. I put them in my mouth. <laughs> and then you're meant to. So, Josh, yes, grab it both both hands. Yeah. yeah. But you don't just, it's not just a seesaw action. You're meant to bend it around. Oh, yes. You, no, you're, you're gliding it along oh, the inside of each tooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You're meant to glide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's about, yeah, yeah. It's about yeah. cleaning the tooth itself rather than going straight up yeah. and hitting the gum. So, you gum. do like the left side of that one and the right side of that yeah. one. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, but that but that is a good correction because a lot of people just go up, hit the gum, create a bit of blood works. I think there's a good chance that listeners are thinking that this episode is sponsored by Smile. <laughs> <laughs> the Smile team. The Smile team, my bad. Located in Doncaster. <laughs> On Baldwin Road. <laughs> what, what I wanted to know, though. <laughs> I, I don't think it is. Yeah. That's right. We'll look it up and we'll do it yeah, properly. I'll, I'll quickly. <laughs> so, you will brush your teeth before the dentist. If, if you had a bit of a meal. I want the best representation. It's in, like when you go to ca- clean, get your car clean. Sure. You're taking a filthy car. You fl- should. You're, yeah, flossing, should. you're flossing the shit out of it. Um, so, Dan, <laughs> under normal circumstances, any other given day, what yep. are the things that make you brush your teeth? Oh. Why do you brush your teeth? When do you brush your teeth? Yeah. What makes you go, this deserves a brush well, versus I'm going out the door? A good question. I think the electric toothbrush has changed the game. It's way... It, do you both blush, blush no. with it? You don't? No, I've got really? it manual. Have manual you considered boy. it? No. Why? Uh, they love it. Don't feel the need. Really? Yeah. They they reckon it's better, I reckon. Yeah, they probably would, wouldn't they? They would. They'd know. You should. They're cheap. Okay. Apart from the brushes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what makes me... So, always brush my teeth in the morning. Wait, um, wait. When in the morning? Oh. After you shower, before you shower. Yeah. After always. breakfast, before breakfast. Yeah. Shower, breakfast, tooth. Yes. Oh, okay. Brush after breakfast. So, I'm yeah. with you on that. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. How about you, Christian? Well, I don't really eat breakfast that much, <laughs> oh. but I do have a coffee. Got to so be after the coffee, right? It is it's after good. the coffee. Oh. And working from home makes that so much easier. Do you sometimes skip the brush because you know you're having coffee? this is, that has been the issue, right? Is mm. that what will happen is I will have the coffee and then I normally make with my copy, copy a cup of chamomile tea. So I sit on that for a little while. You sit on it. And then by the time I finish <laughs> my chamomile. So <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> How do you drink your tea? <laughs> um, and then when I finish that, I'll be like, well, it's only half an hour to lunch. Mm. Skip the brush. And sometimes I'll skip the brush. No but good. I know that it's not good, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes it slips. Well, generally, the... As the after breakfast mm-hmm. is one brush and bef- dry, right before bed is another brush. The yep. other one is ge- generally leaving the house. Whenever I go to Ooh, leave yeah. the house, we missed it. I just we brush. Missed it. Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah, brush. It's, I just, it's weird that like that's an automatic thing of no matter what time of day it is, I go, have a brush, you're yep. leaving the house. Is, yep. is, that, is that getting older? Because I am really conscious of my teeth when I go out now. Well, I'm hang like- on, your teeth or your breath? Uh, both. Oh, both. okay. Because your breath is an issue tonight. <laughs> but it's also, <laughs> but it's also, you know, just saying to myself, well, it, it's important to have clean teeth. Yeah. And I may not, you know, I might be out for a few hours. I may not get another opportunity to brush my teeth but, for a while. But we're all conscious of this stuff now because we're mid thirties. That's what I mean. All, all our backs are completely <laughs> stuffed at the <laughs> but moment. That's what I mean. Our, our teeth, teeth are nearly falling be- out. The like, teeth are in the best shape they've ever been in, but our backs are bent backwards like a floss. But <laughs> Teeth are, but teeth are easy, right? Like that. That's looking after your teeth is not that difficult. If you got a toothbrush and toothpaste, you're set. And floss, so. and floss is the big boy. Yeah. But floss what do you boy. what do you reckon about uh, breath mint? We talked about breath. Well, do you I mean, any value in some gum or some breath mints? Well, that's the thing. Like, let's say Josh, you forget to brush your teeth, or you don't have time to brush your teeth. You're catching a train or something, and then you realize, oh, this is a bit of, bit of a problem here. Yeah, what are you going? I always, I feel like breath mints are just lollies. Mm. I, I don't, I've yeah. never thought, yeah. oh, I'll get a mint and that'll fix my breath. No, yeah. I, I think that it's like immediate pain relief. Like it's equivalent. It's like if you've got a conversation coming up and you need immediate relief mm. from your bad breath, you should have the mint in your mouth during that conversation <laughs> or it finishes moments before that conversation starts. Because 15 minutes after that mint, you got a stinky breath again. How, how did mint evolve as the flavor for fresh breath? Yeah, right. How does how, what, 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 how did that start? Why isn't it rosemary? And here's a or question. basil. Well, and here's, oh, wow. here's a question. Why Christ. is most mint flavors <laughs> thing make mint flavored things don't actually taste like mint? Like what? Most mint if it says mint on it, everything tastes like every every mint no, tastes no, like mint. Have you you like actual mint? 
Yeah. From a plant, yeah. very, very few things taste like that. So you're asking well, yeah, why okay. does the synthetic equivalent of mint not taste <laughs> yeah. exactly like the yeah. real plant mint? Yes, because... <laughs> well, that's a good question, We got Josh. some ice cream from Billy Van Crane the other day oh. that was mint flavoured. And I was yes. like, this is the first mint flavoured ice cream I've ever had okay. that actually tastes great, like mint. Great point. Wow. Because it, Two local businesses getting the <laughs> shout out tonight. Because this is huge because is there any... Herb that grows more and quicker than mint. <laughs> it's the most prevalent parsley. herb on the on the parsley. Oh, get out of town! Mint mint takes parsley to town. <laughs> Take, it takes it out for dinner. <laughs> no mint. You know you got like people like don't, it grows don't, in cracks. Don't, don't put mint. Excuse me. <laughs> no, they're like don't put mint in the garden. Just put it in a pot. Otherwise, you f- you yeah. never make ice cream again. <laughs> yeah, but that's similar to parsley in that it spreads like wildfire. But really? I, I agree. Is it to do with because that <laughs> mint? Obviously, there's freshness. You, you're worried about that when you got your fresh things. But what right? is fresh about mint? I don't know. It's a great question. It kind of well, it's kind of pungent. It's like, kind of like it's opens like your sinuses a bit. There was there was a study done years ago that associated <laughs> the smell of lemon with clean. So oh. they had the exact same room. They presented two separate groups. Into the exact same room, but one of the groups was experienced that room with a lemon <laughs> scent, is, and they <laughs> overall rated the room as cleaner than the other group. Great. Is, this, is this the follow up to the prison experiment, the Phillips and Bardo? Yeah, where yeah, everyone it was. Attacks each other? The, Stan- the Stanford, yeah. <laughs> the Stanford lemon experiment. Yeah, that's yeah. what they call <laughs> Very And then everyone beat the lemon up. <laughs> Very unethical. Got Citru- shut down. Citrus will never participate in a <laughs> so, experiment ever but again. But Dion, when you notice. I've got a bit of a stinky breath happening here. Yeah. What's your first point of call? Oh, probably just am I dehydrated? I need probably need a little bit of water. Really? Yeah, I think so. But where? What is the? What is the typical origin of stinky breath? Is it? Is it your tongue? Is I it, think it's your tongue. It's got to be whatever's t- in your tongue. I'll, I'll give if I got the tooth. I'll give that a good brush. But otherwise, for me, it's avoidance. Then if mm, I clock yeah. that I've got bad, I'm like, cool. I'm staying really far away from everyone. I'm directing my face away from people. What do you think of your general breath? <laughs> Do you think you've got neutral, more neutral, the better, right? No, you no, just no, but yours, no, to be. But on, on a given day, we'd, we'd do a breath test. A breath it's, test. It is, <laughs> is that what they're doing? It is, like in the morning. <laughs> oh, that is such a funny thought. Police take it before you open because you do a breath test. But God, instead, of, yeah. instead of blowing into the machine yeah. that you blow directly into their mouth. <laughs> Give me, come oh, on. Jesus, that is. Oh, that's two demerit points, mate. <laughs> <laughs> two demintant points. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah. But I, I know what you mean. It's like. <laughs> I, I in the morning if I get a whiff of that I'm like that is shocking yeah it sucks and yeah. I go this is hell yeah it's bad it's yeah. bad as soon as I get a whiff of it and I understand what that's coming out of my mouth I'm like this it is, is disappointing mm. that you wake up with bad breath <laughs> mm-hmm. it's really what? disappointing what if you wake up with because bad the breath? last thing you did was brush your teeth <laughs> yeah and you've so done nothing w- for the like passage eight hours. of time all it means is that your breath gets worse oh, but also like going back to the mint conversation which I've been desperate to go back to what are the different types of mint there's like what is what, do you, can you, do you know the difference between spearmint and peppermint? Uh, I couldn't tell you, but I know what they... Spearmint's... No, I don't know. What do you reckon it is? Well, peppermint presumably got pepper in it, right? I, really I would good. Say, Here we go. We're down. <laughs> <laughs> we've got no idea. Are they maybe different variants of the plant? <laughs> Surely. Of the mint? Surely. Here's a Surely question. there's a spearmint and then there's a peppermint. Here's a question. There's chocolate mint. You guys are... You guys. <laughs> it's unbelievable, by the way. <laughs> It's really fantastic. Really? Yes. Okay. You guys are old enough to remember this. What the hell happened to the breath strip? Oh. oh they were revolutionary. They, when they, they was, certainly well, the were. Breath, the Listerine breath strips. Well, it, but now you've got um, washing machine um, mints. Well, you've got the, yes, you've got yeah. the thin, the thin the, things. That you, you can, throw in. The, oh, really? Yeah, the yeah. eco-friendly. It's Come a, on, Josh. Oh, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. What was the most fun thing of taking one of those breath When it strips? stuck to the roof of your mouth and you couldn't get it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine never did that. That was on my tongue. Really? That's all they did. It was really? like the moment you put it in, it was like, doing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's oh, weird. Like, I remember how they were like, oh, this is the new way to keep your breath fresh. Then they just kind of died out and people, I stopped seeing them. Because around. they didn't keep your breath fresh. There you go, right? Because they were lollies. And it just taste, it tasted like yeah. it was fresh. And that oh, was of it. Of course, because they're just fucking lolly companies that are rebranding that to be some sort of dentist bullshit thing that yeah, people famous buy. Famous lolly company, company, Listerine. Yeah. 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 That's so true. But the other thing... <laughs> sorry, no, that, that's a very good point. Um, but also mouthwash. Apparently, that's terrible because oh, really? it kills all the bacteria. Isn't that Oh, really? Point? Yeah. <laughs> but that's terrible because it's killing life. Baptists in America hate they, it. That's what they have at the... Um, <laughs> that's what they have at the dentist, though, when they give you the rinse. No. That's this sounds like some big plaque propaganda. <laughs> no, no, no. That's something that's got fluoride in it. Okay. It's like a tap water. What? Fluoride? 
Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll wrap it up there about the toothpaste, I think. Um, you know what I think? You know, I think it's now. It's. I, I think it's now. <laughs> I think it's now. I think it's time to think. Just exactly what item were you expecting in the bagging area? Because I put in exactly what I just scanned. <laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> you idiot. The number of garden pots I have accumulated and refuse to let go of is inexplicable. Be honest, I don't use them and they all look like shit. <laughs> Fuck me, don't slam the car door. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Welcome to Patchwork. It's Patch 115. Or should I say, it has been 115. It has. It was. Very enjoyable. And what a patch it was. What a pa- uh, this Had a was, lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. Always have fun. Never leave depressed. It's always <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Actually, that's that's interesting. We, we come into the studio. Sometimes we're up. Sometimes we're down. Yeah. We're coming after a work day. I never leave feeling sad. No, always tired and exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. I feel all right. <laughs> Great. Oh, yes. Josh feels all right. No, that nine to five. Nope. Who gives a shit about being at a desk. Anyway, uh, <laughs> special mention. I don't think we've mentioned them in a week. What's Patrons. Oh, aren't they charming? Beautiful people. We, we actually had a new Patreon this week. Actually, Josh, while you crap on and tell listeners uh, what it's yeah, about. Yeah, so if you can support the show, a couple bucks a week, uh, it helps fund this. It costs a lot of money to put mm-hmm. this on. So any support is more than welcome. Get a bonus episode in the off week. Uh, we don't run ads anymore, so it's entirely listener funded. So we thank every every single patron who uh, supports the show. Yes. So thanks, guys. Uh, Cameron signed up a couple of weeks ago. Emma did as well. Um, thanks so much. Helps thanks us so much. a lot. Um, we're also on social media, and you got to believe it. Josh has been churning out clips like there's no tomorrow mm. youtube shorts youtube pants <laughs> <laughs> on, YouTube, instagram tiktok we're on tiktok Twitter. we're on tiktok the one tiktok video that's got about ten thousand views is a non-patrick <laughs> one that christian put up which is very very funny so check it out if you want to check it out you'll have to go to tiktok you have to follow us and it means you have to download tiktok uh, don't, don't get tiktok don't guys. get don't tiktok do it, don't we're do on it, it. Don't do we don't want to i don't be. want to be on it also yeah. tell a friend enjoying the podcast it's likely your friends will and if they don't we don't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> and also, chuck a review up on uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Helps a yeah. lot. I haven't Thank had a review you. in a while. We had a good, good influx. In fact, maybe we'll just give them 10 seconds now. Do, do, do. So, yeah, Apple Podcast, <laughs> five, five stars, four stars. Whatever stars you want to rate it. Five would be great. Four's great. Leave it up to them. To you know what? It, I think. One. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of friendship. Josh, you know what I'm going to ask. What? Patch, did you so into our quilt? Thank you, Dion. My patch this week is Rob Thomas and Santana <laughs> being the last people to wish Christian a happy birthday in the <laughs> 90s and also the first in the 2000s. <laughs> Christian, what patch did you say this week? Thank you, Josh. This week, I sewed into my patch me receiving a midweek message from the Smile Team. Babe, can't sleep. Are you up? <laughs> Best wishes from the Smile Team. <laughs> And Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is Christian visiting the Spearmint Rhino and noticing all the great breath on display. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening to Welcome to Patchwork for another week. I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. And a very special goodbye to our listeners in Bosnia. Dovidenia. 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 Dovidenia.